Why isn't it in the fucking game without a pre-order? You blind? Dude, fucking fanboyism. Microtransactions and DRM. Downloadable content. What's up, gamers? Welcome to Gamer Rant. My name's Kevin. Today we're in a segment called In the News, which I used to do this every Sunday. Uh, it was actually originally called Rant News. We'll see if I can uh, continue to do it. Uh, obviously, this is something that really I can't pre-record and schedule because the idea is I follow the news within that week and then I tell you about it uh, on uh, Sunday if I didn't create a full-length video on the subject itself. So, let's just uh, jump in to some of thy news. So, first up is Diablo 4. Today it was confirmed that Diablo 4 will have cosmetic microtransactions in addition to X-Packs. Overall thought, as most people on this channel know already, unless somehow you're living under a rock, I don't care for microtransactions in any form, cosmetic or otherwise. Um, this ultimately hurts the longevity of the game. You know, one of the biggest differences uh, from Diablo and Diablo 4 is that people will be able to continue to play and enjoy Diablo as opposed to Diablo 4, which is going to also be broken and have un... It's going to be missing things because they were hidden behind a paywall long after the servers uh, go down. So, big changes are coming to the black market on November 12th. Unlock the weapons of your choice by playing the game. Earn content in Blackjack Shop. See reverse items before acquiring them with the new reverse stack. This actually is about Black Ops 4. So, basically what they're doing is like, hey, we were once a really infested microtransaction crap motherfucking game, and now we're making it so you can unlock shit. Same thing applies. It's still garbage. I mean, it's after the fact. You're kind of late on this one, and you really don't get a pat on the back for, well, basically just still doing something shitty. So we have Ninja Weighs In on Jarvis, Jarvis says content creators should never be banned. So if you're somehow living under a rock, basically Jarvis, some 15-year-old who plays Overwatch, he basically live-streamed himself using a... Uh, auto aim bot and yeah obviously that's a no-no even though it wasn't like some kind of tournament or anything like that still you know it does affect other players and ninja another youtuber is like hey man he should have got a slap on the wrist because well you know he makes money that's how he makes money that's you know they shouldn't do that it's not like he's some low life you know random joe random Joe Nett on the fucking internet with only 50 subscribers who used it. Yeah, ban those guys, but no, not not us YouTubers. Get the fuck out of here, Ninja. You're a fucking hack. You're a fucking amateur. And, and you don't get fucking special treatment because somehow you believe you're in the realm of being a celebrity. All right? You're about as much as a celebrity as dog shit is. Blizzard VP Overwatch director Jeff Kaplan wants Blitzchung suspension reduced more or eliminated. Blizzard is going to be Blizzard. At the end of the day, they don't care about human rights. They don't care about the freedom of the citizens in Hong Kong from a communist government. Um, because if they viewed that support, they ain't going to be able to sell their stuff in China. So they don't care about this. And it shows their, their hypocrisy shows when they will hold... Uh, a human rights event for the LBGT community in one of their own events specific to Overwatch, but yet then lay claim that, you know, political uh, messages aren't allowed in their events or games. That's a load of crap. The hypocrisy, it all comes down to money. They care about money and not human rights. The biggest, well, okay, they're probably not the biggest. There's probably plenty of fake-ass American companies, companies out there, but you get the idea. Fallout 76 bug exterminator rage quits after baseless Bethesda ban. So basically we have a, a player of Fallout 76 who has pretty much dedicated himself to um, reporting bugs, testing bugs, seeing if they work, and then reporting them. And apparently Bethesda was like, yo, bro, um, that's a no-no. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't playing this shit no more. And apparently he decided that he's no longer going to play it. And I'm going to say, really? It took you this fucking long to pull your head out of your ass. Because, you know... It, the thing about supporting this game is your number one, you're damaging the longevity of video games within of itself. You're hurting the community by supporting such things because you're basically telling developers and publishers this is okay, fix it later. 
That's not how you should treat this game. So on, on one end of the spectrum, Bethesda is a fucking douche for doing this. But on the other spectrum, I have no remorse for this idiot that wanted to continue to play this broken ass game. Anyway, that's my thoughts and opinion in our In the News Roundup, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, if you're not voicing your thoughts and concerns about the bullshit in gaming, you just might be a part of the motherfucking problem.